Study weekly 8% moves if you want to improve your swing trading skills and performance. So basically this is true for any time frame which you want to trade. If you want to trade longer term moves, if you want to trade moves uh, in a stock, you want to like and you find stocks which make a double in a year, then you need to study every day stocks which double in a year because uh, if you understand the nature of those moves, how do they start, where do they start, what was there at the beginning of the move, how the move progress, then you are likely to find those moves. So this is the basic idea behind this and this is something which I have talked about a lot, uh, almost like uh, I post, make a post on the um, member site every day saying that okay, look uh, how you should study this. Now this particular video is going to get, take you through the process which I follow every day. Uh, say for I've been doing this for many many years. Uh, so basically for that I use a couple of scans. The simplest scan which I'm going to talk about in this video are basically two scans which is one is a stocks which is up 8% plus in five days. So you're looking for something which is up 8% plus and price is above five and volume for the last three days was about 100,000 so that it has sufficient liquidity. So those are the stocks so you, and I run it on universe which is the stocks which includes ETF plus stocks plus ADRs. So once you run this currently you get 139 number of stocks. This is the first thing which tells you something about the market. If you have been running this scan daily you would have seen a couple of days ago you had only like around 56 or 57 stocks which are up 8% plus and uh, if you see like these figures keeping every day keeping on increasing that means like more breakouts are happening and more breakouts are working. Uh, if you see that the figures start growing down that tells you something and you are not only looking at I will not only look at the 8% plus I also look at the 8% on the downside basically because uh, both sides of the equation uh, you are looking at for that. I'm looking at a scan which is similar which is basically you're looking for a stock which is down in five days 8% plus and price is above five and minimum volume was 100,000. So this is now 60 so obviously more number of stocks are breaking out to the upside that's the first thing which you notice. Now let's go through these stocks and yeah 139 stocks so now once you have these stocks what I do is I sorted uh, by the 5 day percent change basically. So if you see this particular thing it's basically the same thing C by C5 as a column. So this is the number one stocks basically. Now the idea behind studying this is to look at like kind of some of the things which I am using uh, and which I believe in based on having made a lot of money out of those ideas or scan ideas or um, set up ideas and also based on the actual behavior of stocks is 4% plus that uh, the fundamental principle or the fundamental idea behind that setup has been always that uh, at the beginning of a big move there is a 4% uh, plus kind of a move and so a signaling uh, scan which tells you when a 4% move happens uh, running it daily is likely to get into many moves. Basically that is the fundamental thing. So that's the first thing to look at basically. Now here is a stock PBY which is the number one stock in last five days it has made it the biggest move. How did the move start? The move started with 4% um, plus kind of a breakout. Uh, it was actually a 13% move and it made a big move after that. And if you see when it started to move it was actually in a downtrend because this is TI65 to the downside. So it's basically TI65 below 0.95. And uh, now how quickly TI-65 reacts also like uh, it's gone positive immediately uh, because obviously for the same reason that uh, the stock started gaining momentum. So your momentum or uh, the way to find momentum stocks also has to be fast enough so that if you miss the first leg of the move then at least the second leg of the move when it sets up your momentum scan should be able to immediately get you. Uh, into that particular stock. So here is a stock which has gone up so 4% breakout and then it made a big move basically. So uh, this is brings down to the same philosophy or the, not the philosophy but actual behavior of the stock that is like a stocks move in momentum burst of three to five days. So when they make a big move one day big move which is what 4% move is in most stock uh, it is likely that the stock is going to move 
in the direction of that particular purpose and move for three to five days. And sometimes that move can be very big, like say in this particular case, this particular move is 120% in la last uh, three, six, seven days. Uh, while if you have many like 4% moves on this stock and you can like you know, study them and you'll see that this move was also like 25%. It was only 4 or 5 days which again brings you down mm -hmm. to a practical thing about where to exit a stock and what to, where to put your expectations um, for stock. See, un understand, look at everything which I talk about is from a professional trader point of view where you're looking at making money day in and day out using trading uh, as against that if you're an investor it's a completely different ball game and uh, these are not techniques for investors because investors are in a totally different frame of mind or what they're trying to do versus what a trader tries to do a trader is more like a business person who's trying to make money so from our perspective you're looking at what kind of holding period is the ideal three to five days you have to have a sub significant reason to hold a stock beyond that three to five days also like signaling criteria, look and just a 4% scan will get you in most of the stocks. Now let's go to the next one. Now again, stock was in a downtrend, okay? So this is another piece of information when you start looking at all these 136, a lot of time, uh, it's not the stock with the momentum which start going up, like when the market rebounds, most of the time the stocks which have been beaten down or like we're down, they make a bigger move than the stock which had established momentum so many times when you hear from people uh, that stocks which held up best during the correction they are the one to focus on um, they might be right or your data might tell you exactly opposite of what they are saying if your data tells you exactly opposite of what they are saying what are you going to do are you going to follow somebody uh, just because he says uh, very credibly and with enough of confidence that okay, okay, the stock which hold up very well are the one to focus on or are you going to base your decision based on um, actual what works in the market. Uh, there are consequences to that. If you base your decision based on actually what works in the market, there is likelihood that you'll make money. And if you base based on what you believe, um, then uh, th there are people who believe uh, that the uh, sun revolves around the earth also. So you have to decide which category you want to fall into. So basically like, again, what's triggered of this move, a 4% move, so 4% move started this uh, move. So all in all, if you do these kind of things, you'll see that Kilukana, if you just run the 4% scan every day and qualify it, you can find most of the move. Like say, this is a new IPO. What triggered this three days move? A 4% breakout. What triggered earlier moves? They didn't start with the 4% breakout here. It did had a, it had only 2.5% move. This one was like in a three to five days after that, it had a correction that was a 24% move. So when I say that you look at a stocks move in a momentum burst of eight to 40% move in three to five days, it is based on studies like this basically. And you can do this for yourself. Now here is a setup, which is a nice setup. So something like this will go in my file. Uh, nowadays, like, and I don't really go into capturing images and taking out setup because I've been doing this for many, many years. So I know what to look for, but like all the conditions which we look for in a setup, which is like say first leg of the move, very orderly, uh, then very orderly pullback, narrow range day before breakout, uh, very uh, proper consolidation. Those are all the things which are present in the setup. And now again, three to five days, the stock has met 30% move or almost 40% move. So stocks do move in a momentum burst of three to four days. And if you understand that, uh, then you can build a method around it to extract money from the market and that's all you need to know. So here is uh, again a stock which made and how did it start 4%? So if you understand this, what is the first thing which you need to do every day is to focus on 4% breakout and look at the one out of that which you want to buy because if you can get into the right kind of 4% breakout, you will improve your probability of finding these kind of stocks. So That's another thing. Now here is another one which is cool, okay? Uh, here is a stock uh, which again in last five days has made around 50% move. How did the move start? It started in the middle of the night when no one was watching and the dogs were not barking and the sun had not come out and there was a dark moon and uh, the witches were like hunting for people. No, it didn't happen like that. It happened loud and with a clear uh, this thing that 4% breakout and then from that the stock went up around 30%. 
so uh, you hear things like breakouts don't work this doesn't work that doesn't work or like uh, quantitative uh, the, or like uh, the high frequency trading is screwing up the market that might be all true but if you want to make money focus on what is working in the market and this is what is working in last five days not like something which was worked in 1980s or in 1999 you'll see like most of the trading books are examples from like uh, 10 years ago or 12 years ago why not from the recent past why not from like last five days why not from last three months why not from last six months uh, so here is your opportunity to, to look at this and understand these things again same way like you, here obviously when you see something like this this will be a buyout because that's how the stock operates when it goes uh, when it gets bought out the container store had a breakout again see st- the you saw this particular stock had a trend intensity of 105 but like most of these stocks other they were going down like even this stock was in a downtrend significant downtrend actually before it made a big move so keep that in mind mrm which is made a big move here again how did this move start so oh, it started when nobody was looking no four person breakout so it will come in your scan so do a very good job of going through your four person breakout again stock is in a downtrend before the move started move started here and the move is almost 200% how did the move started with a four person breakout okay so here again like this is the last five or six days and the stock gapped up airy again notice the stock is in a downtrend okay so different market phases are different kind of stocks uh, doing well uh, like here in the last five days you will see that lot of stocks which are down uh, really uh, took off or they started breaking out um, so there are also stocks with momentum which also broke out but like there were some which is like say again here here you have a stock which has made a big move in last five days Uh, and how did the move start with a four person breakout okay genco uh, solar again how did the move start four person breakout and it did have most of the characteristic which you look for except for that it had a long range uh, but uh, this was a stock which had a breakout and it did move in the direction so uh, obviously like and you know, what if you are really new to this uh, which is against somebody who has been doing this for many years uh, you start capturing something like this and put it in a file like i had lot of these kind of things in my file for many years uh, which i got rid of like uh, because i don't need that kind of information but like that is how you create uh, new setups and new ideas or what works like basically something like this will definitely go into my file earlier because that's the kind of setup which is the ideal setup which you want to find so while you're going through this uh, i will do uh, i will always like and you know, i look at like and you know, some example and even today um, if i find something which is unusual or something which i think can be converted into a setup idea or a scanning idea i'll put it into a i'll print out the uh, image which you can do very easily by you can save also the chart or image of chart you can save in tele chart and you can print it also there must be a print option somewhere i think and you can print i don't remember now but there is a way to print this also uh, very easily is a print chart okay and you can save it as a image of a chart if you save it as a image of a chart you can put an annotation also on it so now this is another stock which had a, but this is just a one day move one day move of 20% and again it had a trend intensity was setting up very nicely Uh, before the earnings i think there's an earnings uh, breakout spwh uh, sportsman warehouse again stock is in a significant downturn okay how did it reverse it reversed when nobody was looking no there was a four percent breakout so it will show up in your scan and this was a four days move and in four days uh, i'm not taking the breakout day gains it still is a 20 percent move so focusing on just one scan four percent might get you into many ideas now again this is one day move earnings related uh, but stock had very nice orderly uptrend before that imds it's again like a 4% see this thing like look and i get this question all the time that 4% scan now why do you keep using it uh, the market has changed but that's the thing which is the most reliable thing indicator of start of a move i have not found anything more reliable than the, that if i find that that is not what is working on the time frame on which i trade 
uh, then I'll change. If it is not, uh, if it is working, why change? Again, stock started with a four percent breakout and made a move. Soral again last five days has made a big move. This was earnings, uh, and then it made a big move here, four percent, twenty four percent move in three to four days. Uh, Bungie, this is uh, there's a buyout rumor or it's being bought out basically. So now this is like something like this is again a buyout. Okay. Now what I normally do is if there is a buyout because you don't want to keep looking at buyouts again, you can just put in a uh, some sort of an indicator here saying that it is X so that next time when it shows up in your scans or something, you know, not to uh, focus on that stock. Uh, Dynergy, you know, again, it's a buyout, I think, uh, or some sort of a merger. So, but again, the stock started move with 4% move. See, here again, there was a 4% move. So, uh, Autodesk, okay. uh, this is earnings. A lot of these are earnings breakout, which are happening. Most of the time, the earnings breakout set up again. Uh, so, CompuJain, again, how did this move start? The move started with a 4% breakout, and in 3 to 4 days, the stock made 20% move. So, again, the Critical thing, 8 to 20 percent as your profit target is not something which I pulled out of the cloud or just by uh, uh, without any um, logic or without any of this thing. You'll see that that's the most prevalent tendency or it is the structural tendency of the stocks that uh, they make moves in the 8 to 20 or 40 percent kind of magnitude or momentum burst or uh, impulse moves as they are called so here like again you'll see something which is beaten down bounces back that's a very common characteristic of market something which is down will bounce back very hard uh, your fibrocellulose it's not a very uh, uh, linear setup but again how did the move start that's the question four percent breakout so um, if you understand this, you will like basically know what to focus on right at the beginning or like today morning at, uh, in the pre-market itself, you'll be looking at 4% breakout or you'll be looking at 4% breakout throughout the day. Uh, ICHR, it's again, the, some of the moves start with like not a 4% breakout in this case, like say, and that is where after studying many of these moves, I have created the uh, low threshold breakout uh, scan. Uh, which is trying to capture some of these moves like this but this stock had a trend intensity of 105 well you'll see that most of the stocks which we looked at many of them didn't had like again a bounce back so a lot of oh, what i'm saying what kind of setups are working how do you know you know by looking at this you look there are a lot of these reversal kind of setups which are working currently which are basically stocks which are gapped down or gone down a lot reversing uh, then you have Voxel Jet, which made a big move, not uh, like say it's a low price stock, so this is 16% move, but again, this is 4% breakout, how did this move start? Uh, with 4% breakout, how did this move start, this total move of 89% start with 4% breakout? So whether you're looking for a move of 3 days or 5 days or 3 months or 6 months or 9 months or 2 years or 3 years, uh, you'll be better served by focusing on stocks with 4% breakout because that's likely to be the start there you will find that 4% breakout will be there in the first 3 or 4 days or 5 days of any big move in a stock and you can go and uh, check this for yourself again something like this is like too volatile so this is not like something which you will focus on in C Therapeutics how did this move start uh, again this was a 4% breakout on this day basically which faded so this was technically a 4% breakout intraday, but like then it faded, but still it made a move. And again, you'll see that again and again, you have these impulse moves of three to four days, and they are just uh, in three to four days, the stock makes 25 to 30% move. And if you don't sell them at the right time and you start thinking, uh, because all the time there are messages which you get, which says, look, can I, uh, don't sell too early like you should like and I keep on holding let your winners run uh, your winners will become losers okay uh, and that you can see for yourself uh, unless the stock has some sort of a uh, basic catalyst now here again how did this move start this move start did with four percent breakout okay and for those of you who don't know what this is this is four percent volume is greater than volume yesterday 
that's the only scan if you can run you'll find many ideas and you can make a lot of money why cw again what kind of a setup is this this is a reversal setup stock is in a downtrend it reversed how did that happen oh on the first day there was a four percent move right it didn't happen in the silently while nobody was watching so now we are again stock has it's not very it's like choppy kind of a trading uh, tgh what kind of a setup is this this is reversal setup so what do you know about the market today is a lot of reversal setups are working how do the reversal setup start again with four percent breakout so when you look at a four percent breakout um i don't want to give up too much about the boot camp which i do because then it will like and spill some of the things which i do there but you will see some very interesting exercises which i use on the four percent breakout to drive home the prior point that how you can take that four percent breakout move and find trades which can be three to five days you can find a trade which is longer term trade you can find a reversal trade and how you can play around with it just by one scan using one scan so same way uh, you have weight watchers again uh, the move this was one day big move so it's not really much uh, it's only four percent follow through but how did that start with a four percent move okay stamp uh, again you will see that uh, there was a four percent breakout and again remember that we are not only running four percent record we are also running dollar record so if it doesn't come in in four percent record and the reason why it didn't show up in your four percent record here is volume condition was not met even though the stock was up four percent okay so then yeah mck again gap up and went up so stocks don't start their move without telling you loudly look i am ready to go up and when it tells you that how does it tell you it will show up in your four percent scan basically again a lot of these are like in a downtrending stocks or which sold up in last three four days and they bounce back so if you're looking at creating setups ideas something which is oversold might be something to focus on now here again like you have a stock which has made a big move here but like this is again gap up kind of a move here earnings gap up i think mool which is an ipo no matter what you're trading whether it is an ipo etf or Chinese stock or a Brazilian stock or a Bulgarian stock or a Russian stocks or any other stock, uh, just a 4% move is likely to get into most of the moves. And again, like this stock made a 12 or 14, 15% move. Uh, if you are smart, you would have taken some profit. And if you believed in like holding forever, uh, then you don't know whether that will help you much. Uh, USAC again what kind of stocks are going up eight percent plus you will see that many stocks which are down again this is a reversal kind of a setup how did this start there's a four percent move okay so if you do a good job of running four percent scan and like shortlist candidates with the probability of going up you still can find many of the stocks on a shorter term time basis again it's a reversal kind of a setup okay yeah ptc again this stock had a correction and from there it has bounced back but again the move started with a four percent breakout i hope i am repeating the same thing again and again but i hope you people will understand significant thing from this that uh, this is a, something which you understand this is a million dollar idea you know, that a four percent scan can make you so much of money basically um, so and those who understand those who've been around uh, they know what i'm talking about uh, square again uh, this is a move which is like uh, if you look at from here to here this is like a learn person move but that's like tricky because you're not really going to be entering here you are going to be entering here so that's a six or seven person move how did this move start four percent breakout and stock did have momentum so some stock which hold up well can perform well when the market bounces back but many stocks which are not participating in the move or where in downtrend are the one which bounce back the hardest sun power okay uh, your spxc again stock was down and then bounce back it's a etf basically booba uh, that's not really a big move so you have impinge uh, again the move started with a four percent breakout okay presido here what is this i think that is a four percent move and then the stock made eight percent move and you can keep studying like this uh, on and on and on i can keep going uh, but what you will see is that there is a particular kind of a, uh, signal which happens 
when a stock is about to make a big move irrespective of whether it was in a downtrend or an uptrend and that signal is like 4% breakout see here 4% breakout stock moved in that direction that's a 15% move here right so if you buy focusing or like what do i do on a daily basis is i just run a 4% scan and look at good setups and buy them there is no like an a major trick the other question is like and which i kept asking because I, if i look at like an my email box and show you the questions which i get i would say 90% of the questions are about where should i put my stock okay should i put my stock here that it's a very simple thing if you do this exercise yourself you should know where to put the stock i put my stock always at if i enter this stock i always put it at low of the entry day and the reason is that this particular 4% move signals start up a new uptrend if the stock comes and takes out that low that signal is wrong or that signal has not worked so why worry about putting a stop here or i should be putting in a atr stop or i should be putting a stop when the moon is in the fifth phase and the sun is in the seventh phase and uh, very complicated things you can do but if you are looking at a- any of these setups what do you see like if setup like this works it never comes back to touch your entry day low so i keep it very simple i am like and i'll be in the a, any 99% of my trades I, my stop is at low of the entry day even if it is a longer term hold uh, thing because if i am using a signal like a momentum burst kind of a signal the very nature of that momentum burst signal is such that it is going to work immediately if it is a genuine signal if it reverses after that that's not a good sign so here again 3 days stock did make a move up 10 to 12% and you can think about like holding forever and things like that but like in a reality is that 3 to 5 days here moves followed by a thing so if you didn't sell in the to strength uh, you would be up 25% for the uh, thing and then you will end up giving all the gains because you are chasing something uh, which is not really how the market behaves or the market uh, unless you have a very good way of selecting pre selecting stocks here like five days move it's like and i see these are like an small moves which are happening 6 7% now uh, as we keep going down blackberry how did this move start the move started again uh, here there was a 2.99 now this is a very large stock okay so this is where the low threshold breakout will come in but here there was a 4% breakout and then it did make a move so that's again like an if you didn't know anything about this stock and you're just looking at it okay if you bought the 4% breakout here okay it did make a move and that is what started the move so what happens at the beginning of the move what happens at the beginning of the move is stock loudly tells you that it is about to go up and how do you know that by running a scan which is 4% scan and that's inside itself is worth millions of dollars for somebody who understand it those who don't understand keep saying that market is manipulated this guy is doing this that is happening that is happening what is happening while you have an opportunity to make money by running a simple scan and looking for 3 to 5 days move look at this particular stock every one of these moves is 3 to 5 days move 3 to 5 days move and 8 to 10% more so as you keep going down this you will find what to look for in a move basically any time there is a uh, series of narrow range day that is a good setup as an anticipation setup here the stock made a big move has a um, conti- these are continuation kind of setups basically this to move started with this 4% move so even if you are looking for a longer term swing uh, i would say that you are better off focusing on 4% than chasing things which you will hear a lot about Uh, so again this is like another stock did make a move black line but it didn't break out with 4% move uh, here it only broke out with 1.96% move so some of these stocks because they have established trend intensity might show up in your low threshold breakout and that is how you cover the market china caught blood what happened 4% breakout and then it had a follow through of 4% so uh, in sm ncsm multi stage see ipos can be sometime like another break out without 4% break out but the good one which make big moves they always break out with 4% break out uh, was in hamilton again 4% break out started this move uh, uslv another one of those reversal kind of setups nectar the move started here actually 
with 2.44 percent as a swing again uh, or here as a four percent move and then continuation of that so low threshold breakouts will get you into some of these kind of moves reversal kind of a setup stop us down and reverse sharply C move okay, how did this move happen four percent breakout okay fees stock did go up again this kind of stocks will not show up in your four percent scan uh, because it didn't really start with a four percent move here it only started with 2.76 and not a big move it has made basically while it is like in a four percent and here it made a big 25 percent move so that's like an issue or solding again a reversal kind of a setup so you'll see a lot of stocks which are down uh, uh, they were bouncing back in the move as against the thing which was holding up well so that brings me to the point of like look what should you be focusing on you might focus on things which are down especially when a market has a correction uh, in a normal market you can just focus on things like these so now here there is a stock why didn't it show up in 4% breakout because the move was only 3.48% so and you will see that like as you keep going now this is something which I would definitely put into my file uh, this was an ideal setup like this was an earnings day and it had a breakout and now uh, the stock did make a 16% move after that uh, okay So keep looking at this, study this every day. The more you do it, the better you'll become at it. Basically, uh, you will not see a value of it day one, uh, but if you do it over a period of time, you know instantly what to look for or what kind of four person breakout to buy because that's what you're trying to build as a model, uh, basically. And uh, say like again, stocks which are down trending, they're bouncing back or the stocks which are up 8%, many of them were like kind of bouncing back or down. And um, if you, look at it this is like 2.45 now this kind of a stock is a high price stock so as i said high price stocks don't move with four percent kind of breakout but this kind of a stock will show up in your dollar record but where did this stock start its move it started with a four percent breakout okay uh, so when you see a lot of people giving you like and i think okay you do this that um, a, you can take that as a face value. B, is you develop your own expertise and model, right? Uh, this is basically developing your own expertise and model. And what would you rather do? Would you rather like follow someone and believe in what that person says? Or would you rather do your own modeling? That's the question. In order to do your own modeling, there is effort involved. There is some amount of like, and, I, and this doesn't like, it, it takes me five minutes. Like this video is now becoming 30 minutes plus, but like, I finish this every day and I do it religiously every day in just like an a first thing in the morning five to ten minutes is all that it takes to do now this is a five day move again stock is high price stocks where will it show up it will show up in your dollar scan because it was up one dollar twenty on that day most of these stocks okay again stock is in a downtrend many of these stocks which are downtrend are bouncing back currently so what setup is working that answer comes from looking at these kind of things every day again these are all like you know, stocks which are down and which are or you'll see that there is an earnings season so there is a lot of stocks which are like basically up uh, because of earnings uh, or one day moves in earnings Coupa software again like say here stock made a move of three to five days that was 14 15 percent and if you didn't sell this is lucky you don't know whether this will happen okay if you didn't sell and you started thinking about look and oh this stock this is ipo this somebody is telling me i should keep on holding my winners and all and it will go and it will double and it will triple and then i will buy a house in caribbean and i'll have like uh, coconut water for lunch and breakfast and i'll have this and that uh, you will be a fool uh, understand as a professional trader you have to focus on a high probability setup not a low probability setup a longer term hold kind of a setup is a lower probability setup unless you have a way to qualify that right at the beginning so focus on something which is easier unless you have uh, some problem in your brain where you can't really like i think understand those things uh, most of these are reversal setups as i keep saying okay first solar again similar kind of a thing um, no, not similar kind of a thing like and a stock did start this move was in a downtrend and how did the moves change direction by 4% breakout okay so if 4% breakout happens 
irrespective of whether the stock is and if you see the background to that 4% breakout is good enough then you can buy don't worry about like moving averages and 200 day moving averages and this and that yeah, you are to, uh, to, talking about 3 to 5 days move 8 to 20 percent moves uh, you just have to take a call saying look and does this look nice does it have uh, uh, three to five days of narrow range days and all those criteria and if it is there uh, you're better off buying it mnst now this is something which is like and it went up like it will not show up in your dollar scan this is a good move persistently stock went up about three to five days basically now that's something which is like no scan can capture all the moves but like something like this uh, was a very good setup it was a dollar breakout setup right you know again where did this move start how did this move start four percent breakout so that's like an a you can and as you keep going down every day you're looking at this thing which what will it do it will reaffirm certain things which you're doing like if you're running four percent on dollar breakout and you see like most of the stocks here did meet that condition then you know you're on the right track or what you're using is right similarly if you're looking at exiting a trade in three to five days and at a profit of eight to ten or twenty percent and some of the rules which i have said for exit like say if a stock makes a big move in a day uh, after your entry you should be exiting you can see it on the setup itself when you look at these stocks and if you see like after a big move the next day the stock had a uh, reversal or it ga ga went down or like you know, not selling in three to five days wasn't really a smart decision uh, then you will do what you'll continue to do what is right because it is comf derived from actual data of things which are working in the market at this particular time so you have snap like this uh, then you have csra again stock wasn't really like any the stock which had established momentum it wasn't really or even the stock was in a downtrend it bounced back laureate okay now how did this move start with a five percent move these are not very large moves as we are going down these are like smaller moves basically cbl reversal setup reversal setup so you're back to that so what did you see like and you had four or five things to study a deeper like or print out and then look at Kilogane. these are the criteria to find good moves basically uh, for a setup like say this uh, thing or Jango Solar this was a nice long term kind of a thing or Shengu uh, so those are things which will should go in your file and then you can on a weekend like and I look at it look and I do my scan capture these what should I be my qualifying criteria did the stock close near the high some of the conditions which we put in this stock didn't really close near the high but it didn't close too far from the high also as against that are there moves which are happening where the stock didn't close near the high it just like and it closed half way down the thing that you can answer for yourself by going through uh, these things so this is on the bullish side okay now let's quickly look at the bearish side because uh, as a professional trader you have to look at both sides of it and look at opportunities on both sides because uh, you don't want to be just sitting there and doing nothing if the market goes in a tailspin so we sorted by the one which is down the most basically uh, so this is brs is down the most right and we, on a five day basis so we start by looking at those now you have 60 moves to look at now brs okay you say again how do stock go down very silently when nobody is looking right uh, so here four percent breakdown okay stock had a follow through again how did this move start stock had a follow through again how this stock were already down or like they had a trend intensity which was down sibani gold how did this move start it was a four percent breakdown actually if you see here on this day okay genesco okay how did this move start see here this is a big move to the downside here there was a four percent breakdown in last five days is what you are studying uh, so basically you will see that stock which were weak became weaker uh, especially the one which made the big move as against the one which were like on the long side you had a lot of stocks which were like reversing and that so things work differently on the short side basically tvs uvxy so one day moves were reversed for terra how did this move start with a four percent breakdown okay that was actually a 24 percent breakdown okay so if you run a four percent scan uh, what should you be able to do you should be able to find many opportunities okay again four percent down here how did this start four percent down here or four percent down here 
and a move is like 14 to 16 percent again if you study this particular swing it was like in a six pi or six days and how, what is the length of that swing 14 percent okay so average swing is around 10, 8 to 20 percent uh, on the short side it might be smaller how did this move start with a four percent breakdown okay um, so coherence the move started when nobody was looking no it started with a big range expansion to the downside B2, this is a IPO MMYT after making a big move how did the stock go down there's no 4% breakdown during this entire period how did this big move uh, start even if you're going to hold stocks for long term what should you be focusing on 4% what happened you had the first 4% down move and since then stock has gone down here again this stock had 4% move to the downside and it accelerated down Alexion pharmaceutical again basically now this is a higher price stocks as I keep saying higher price stocks don't move in momentum burst of 4% but it did uh, will be show up in your dollar scan and sometimes they don't have volume like here uh, why we do not show up in 4% scan because it didn't have a volume and this is common on the short side many times stock breakdown they will not necessarily have this condition of V greater than V1 so you can actually run a scan which is 4% to the downside uh, but without the V by V1 condition and still can find some candidates okay Port locker okay, and stock had a big down uh, this thing okay uh, then and many of these stocks because they are high price they should show up in your dollar scan not in this scan chico's how did this move start with a four percent down move okay especially when four percent down move happens after a period of like an stock having not having that kind of a move it can be a signal like signal uh, this entire down move started with a four percent breakdown right series of 4% breakdown actually like started this move basically so weaker stock became weaker during this move basically pixel work again stock was going up no 4% breakdown right a big 4% breakdown and stock went in the direction so if you're looking for signal uh, that's the thing like and I hear things like look and I don't run any scans scans is for people who don't want to like and I'm just going to focus on some 20 stocks or 30 stocks um, okay like they might have reason to it but do you need to go and follow and stand behind them and like a lemming jump out or think about it look and running a scan dynamically every day gives you a stock which is signaling something so it's a signaling mechanism what did start this down move it started with a four person move and here this would have been a dollar breakdown also basically because the volume condition was not met this was again like because this is a high price, relatively high price stocks. Anything above 40 is like uh, behave slightly differently. Spartan, Nash, down, and, uh, LJPC, a cow stock is like been going up again. When volatility of the move increases, like stock become more volatile, that's a sign that it is like and uh, might be going down here again. Four percent breakdown here, signal, and then it went down. Um, BXX, ED. It, again stock is down Vixi, THR and you can go on and on and look at this now one of the things which I want to focus on basically is uh, this might be a low uh, liquidity stock also in terms of like it doesn't have a hundred thousand on many of these things but you'll find that when a stock goes down uh, the consolidation which you look for for entry into it may be just one or two days some of the big uh, smooth down moves are like that you'll find that they are just like and uh, there is no update at all and you can see that in many of the moves as against moves which are like uh, so here trip advisory again it will show up in dollar breakout uh, breakdown because that's one dollar uh, thing and uh, I also have a dollar breakdown uh, this thing template so you can see here there's a dollar breakdown or here there was a dollar breakdown so you can look at it that way also the high of CVZ now again what I said look and when a stock is going down again this will be a thin stock I know because it's only traded hundred thousand so some of these days it doesn't have enough liquidity but anything which starts going down and there is persistent downtrend and it just has two or three down uh, sideways move that's a good short candidate because that indicates that there is a significant down pressure on that particular stock see again how did this move start 4% breakdown okay and 
you can so on and so forth you can keep studying this here there's a four percent breakdown here there's a four percent breakdown okay oasis okay what started this move four percent breakdown okay so running a scan like four percent breakout or four percent breakdown and then finding candidate out of that will get you into many of these moves if you do it consistently on an everyday basis and even if you're willing to, if you're looking for a longer term trend like say um, let's say uh, you're looking for uh, uh, say let's say for example nvidia okay which made a big move here okay how did that big move start it started with a four percent breakout here right and it, and then it kept on going up so even if you're looking for big moves uh, you're better off or like say okay. at the beginning of this move there was four percent breakout or series of four percent breakout so by looking at focusing on four percent breakout you can still find the longer term moves also but we are looking at five to ten days if you're looking at swing trading then the questions which you can answer by doing this study every day are basically the kind of question what kind of setups are working where should i be putting my stop where should i be uh, what kind of criteria should i use to qualify a four percent breakout my criteria which i have are like stocks should not be up three days in a row now do i see that in these things which have gone up in last five days if i see that then i will use that criteria do i uh, think that the criteria that it should be narrow range day or negative day before breakout if it is true then i should be using that criteria uh, does it make to sense uh, make sense to focus on stocks which close near the high uh, of their day at whatever time you enter them versus stocks which faded the move if uh, the data which you see in front of you shows that then you go on that uh, where should you be putting stop is there any logic in putting a stock which is three days five days or ten days low or 280 or 380 or or some uh, chandelier stop or some um, so website which sells you only a stop strategy for three hundred dollar uh, you can think about all these things or some stock uh, which is a moving average stop or as against that just put a stop at the low of the entry day if my entry is on this day i put it on the low of the entry day if it is successful it will follow through exit should i be exiting in three to five days or should i start like uh, holding it and keep dreaming about like it keep on going up and all now those are all the questions which are the same questions which you encounter every day and there is a simple answer to those question in doing this study yourself so this is 8% breakout similarly i do studies like 25% or any stock which is up 100% in a year or stocks which are in the top 100 by ytd and i do that regularly uh, i may not do them on a daily basis but i'll do it on a weekend some of the studies like ytd winners i'll look at them every week on a winner because by doing that what you're doing is you're building a model of like successful stock behavior or model stock behavior and that is your own learning as against something which is somebody else's learning and then you're trying to uh, internalize that the year you can see it for yourself and more you do it better and better you become at identifying right kind of setups entering them at the right time putting stop at the right time exiting them at the right time and most important thing which is like really the crux of being successful professional trader is uh, having enough confidence in your setup so that you don't chase a, every and each idea which somebody says is the way to trade because if i have 100 percent confidence in my four percent record scan and dollar record scan uh, then i'm not tempted by the temptation island uh, which is there on stock tweets or anywhere where you see setups discussed or new ideas discussed and then everybody runs after that if i can find that using four percent breakout or dollar breakout or uh, low threshold breakout uh, then i don't need to be worried about like my setup not working i have enough confidence in that now that is important and that's very important to develop as a skill so do this exercise daily if you do it for six weeks then you will see there is an incremental learning because every time and then also when you do this uh, like as i did in the case of uh, the four uh, percent break uh, the eight percent plus movers where i said like look and i um, 
flag some s things and put them as an example in your file and then start looking at like the criteria as which are there okay, look this is the first leg of the move very orderly correction stock has a narrow range to be for breakout it breaks out stop if i had put it it would work stock went up for three to five days i should have uh, exit it is 15 20 day percent in just three to four days and if you study that and if you feel if you, you will grow confidence because you will know where to exit and you'll not be like and really uh, be tempted by other things and then incrementally every day your trading will improve now it's very easy to sell simple solutions to people's problem because this is time consuming this is like this involves some effort right as against that just buying somebody's signals and saying okay buy here sell here do this that is easy right uh, that's like an, uh, there is a market for everything if you want to really develop skills like these and believe me uh, 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 there are a lot of people who will watch for this on the timeline and that is why there are so many people who have been members for so many years it's basically because these things work and if you can make these things work for yourself then you will see significant benefit financially from these ideas and if you have a significant benefit from them financially you'll continue to use them and if you don't put in the effort then you'll be dissatisfied you'll never be satisfied because you're not really looking at it. and this is not too much of an effort like on a daily basis you're looking at just putting in like uh, once you become good at it like 100 stocks you can go through in five minutes uh, it takes me like five to six minutes to do this uh, and identify four or five things which i want to study deeply and on a weekend you might have to spend half an hour uh, doing this so think about this and do this exercise daily which is basically the exercise which is study of 8% moves and this is for swing trading now similarly you can do uh, exercise for like uh, a month moves you can do it for a quarterly moves you can do it for six months moves you can do it for yearly moves but the idea behind this methodology is to build your own model of a successful trade or a setup and then create your own guidelines to find those kind of setups so basically if you want to find a victoria secret model you study victoria secret models and then create an ideal profile of a victoria secret model and then like try and identify those criteria you know one who's not a victoria secret model and recruit her for victoria secret model same way you want to do the same thing if you want to like and you know, find an ideal basketball player you study the characteristic of a successful basketball player not 10 years ago or 20 years ago but in the current environment where the game might have changed and as against that profile you try and find a new player to fit that particular profile same way study 8 percent breakouts stock which make 10 20 40 percent moves in five days and then find they identify the criterias which were present in them when they broke out and then replicate those and look for the same thing daily and you might get into some of these big moves right at the beginning and the most important part of this thing is that if you run 4% breakout scan daily and just focus on 4% breakout scan you will significantly improve the probability of getting into moves which make 8 to 20 or 30 or 40% moves in 5 days and that's a million dollar secret.